previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying the aspects of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that, that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. Looks pretty ominous. There's some sort of giant monster up here? Another evil computer? No, no, nothing like that, but you'll see. Come on. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Boy, you just love being mysterious, don't you? Is that like your favorite thing? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. Uh, come on, Harper. Going home is fun. You should be excited. <laughs> Clearly you've never met the others before. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Are you joking? You think you're nice? Yeah, I don't know if you remember the whole Pama thing, but, uh... Hey, I had good intentions with that, all right? Don't make me regret helping you. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? If they don't want to give it up, then I guess we'll just have to take it. Don't get too hasty on me now. If you play your cards right, they should give you the Atlas. What do you mean? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I am. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're going to get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help with this. You just gotta go through there. A door? Like a regular door. Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright! I can't see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh. Ah!
seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? It's like some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a game? No, no, no. Jesse's right. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be like this! The days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I And think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on. So are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well, okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, could you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> That would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Where are you taking them? To the mines? Mm -hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. Uh, in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. I don't think that's any of your business. Oh, that's cute. Almost as cute as you'll look down in the mine, slugger. <laughs> uh, 
Let's not get hot-headed, Adrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now! Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but... Admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Ask Harper. She's the one helping. Um, right. Yes. Believe me, Hadrian, when you see what Jesse has, let's just say it will pique your interest. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well... I see your point. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Out! I want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. What about huh? this? I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Nuh-uh, Hadrian. You're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friends. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Come on, gang. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. Well, kiddo, I admit, you do drive a hard bargain. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of something fair for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas, and I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me, everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. Hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, event. Oh, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper. Want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Harper, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ah, <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is.
We used to have competitors from all over. Travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. It doesn't seem too terrible. At least they get to play games all day. Oh no, you don't get it. This isn't fun to them. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Huh. Seems like Hadrian's trying to make sure we all know who's boss. You always did catch on quick. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Aha! There's our nether portal. Um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat's air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad rabs at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat'll think about getting your friends out. Hmm, some sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Phew. Smells like it too. From Spleef! You were like amazing. I'm now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs set, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? Nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines, and that's on me. Such bad karma. Bad karma. I will never do that to one of your friends again, because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like, Tim status! Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim, on the signs! Like, one! Okay? Like, you could! People could, like, already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. That's right. I'm gonna win the games too. 
No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't like tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is like, pfft, she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean seriously, I mean anything at all. Like I wanna help out people. Well, actually, I am trying to bribe that guard face meat, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet. And that should all grow back soon. Nice. Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Um, hey? You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I had gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. No, you don't understand. I have to win. Winning is the only way my friends and I can go home. <gasps> is that how it works? That's what we're all trying to do. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. There. That should be enough for a table. Aha! Uh -huh. That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom. Bread. Now I should be able to get my friends back. I 
impressive. Wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. <laughs> hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. That book you're reading? Hand it over. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> wow, ooh, that was so scary. I almost fell over. Hey, wait a minute. You're the pit squeak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. And you expect me to just hand it over? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steamed. Maybe we can make a deal. And slam the immovable! Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <laughs> Excuse me. Psh, wow, rude. <laughs> hey, get out of here before I see if I can attach this sign to your head. It's so nice when new contestants are in the village. It's lovely having fresh meat for us gladiators to destroy. Yeesh. Why is everyone so cranky around here? Could be that we're forced into an endless cycle of destruction. Just a guess, though. Have you happened to see my friends? You know, the ones that got eliminated in Spleef? No, but if I do, I will make them wish for elimination again. Fine. I'm out of here. Bye-bye! Can't wait to kill you again! Oh, it's you again! The one I wanted to make suffer! Hey, leave before I ruin you. Would it be possible for me to, uh, have some of that bread? It's for that guy over there. Seriously? I'm not falling for that. No bread until lunchtime. Get out of here before I make you into a meal. Does anyone have any food I can borrow? Or, well, have? Guess I should ask around. Got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Get my friends out of there now! Hey, no need to yell. Though, uh, face meat is impressed. <laughs> hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, 
Not with that stupid... sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is... Thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me on this, Petra. Me too. Here! Whoa! Quick response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor! Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the Nether together. Forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey! Jesse, I need to talk! <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just. <sighs> stare at you while you mine. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto. My old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. I didn't think you'd come back. Hey, now! I said he would help. That's why we're here. Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. Tim, please. I can do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one! Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian! And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Otto. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. All right, I can get behind that kind of optimism. No idea what this event is. I'm sure we'll kick butt. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh, a race. We've totally got this! 
got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their... <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? I think we can win because you're not as good as you think you are. You're cocky. Well, aren't you some bold little so-and-sos? Watching you burn is going to be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but, uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. How's that gonna work? A bigger group has a better chance of getting past the gladiators. Trust me. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking. Remember. There's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me, and I'm gonna kick their butts. Psst, Jesse? I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your mark. Get set. Go! Did we get ourselves into? And you're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, jumps. Quite. 
Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction. But where are the gladiators? that question. This since sleep. Oh yeah, Slab, because you seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Bye, Squishy. <laughs> Jesse, got your back. Go! Go! All alone yeah, now. That's math. I'm tired of you, Slab. I was just thinking the same thing about you. Close, I could do this. Sorry now, I'm winning this thing. Hey! Whoa, whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on! Whoa! Slacker! Hey, whoa! whoa! Working together? Looking a little swordless there, Jesse. Flint <laughs> and steel. <laughs> Boy, am I glad I've still got you. And I think I know who it will be. <laughs> I'm surprised that Jesse has not respawned yet. <laughs> Me too, Mevia. Me too. What? And in an unexpected twist and something that definitely was not planned... Jesse wins! Jesse wins! Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Bet you didn't think I'd win, but I did. This just went from bad to worse. You did whatever it took to win that race, Jesse. Good to know. And you, you were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no, please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. Whatever. You're a liar. Why should I waste my time talking to you? Ugh, fine. 
Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Okay. If they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. Give me one sec. I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse! Come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Quit whining, Slab. It's super unbecoming. Oh, I am gonna enjoy squishing you at some point. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> eh, I've seen stuff way more epic than this. Oh, really? Hm. I bet you're just making that up, snob. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh! And don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Psst. Hey, Bat! Hey, Batsy! Whoops! never seen a quartz desk before. Huh, no portal atlas. A man forever voyaging by Sorin. Another one? Where do these keep coming from? armor that now belongs to Jesse. So, I see you found Tim's armor. Gotta say, Jesse, I'm surprised that you try and steal that armor. Considering everyone is calling you the new Tim, doesn't seem like a very Tim thing to do, does it? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. You like sneaking up on people? Funny thing to say, coming from the person I caught snooping around my office. You can look closer, go ahead. 
I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or do you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa! Wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ! <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait. My treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. Axel? Olivia? Hey, Jesse. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys. It's bad. We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games. And we'll be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's not the best. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... Wow, such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part! I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Oh, it was that guy from Endercon that was afraid of chickens. I told you, bro. Look, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fat. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? If you're this scared of me, I must have a better shot at winning than you're letting on. Or maybe I'm just tired of a little pipsqueak interfering with my games. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. We'll play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. <sighs> Yes, 
Lizzie, you're okay. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons? But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. Uh, in case you missed it, if I took that deal, I'd be in the mines. Forever. Except now, win or lose, you'll have friends doomed to the same fate. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Well, he seems nice. The least interested in torturing people, at any rate. Huh. A good observation. He always was the most level-headed of those three. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But... Nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! Yeah! That's the only thing keeping me going in here! Oh yeah, because if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. That's right. Tim did beat the games. And so can we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since, Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. Oh, come on. Sure, Tim's a legend. But we're better than Tim. Better than Tim? Tim somehow beat all those gladiators alone. I don't think any of us are better than that. Yeah. I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but... Those gladiators are, like, super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look. For real, I don't think I could do that. Like, max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, no, I mean totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you could stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never had me. Oh, I get it now. And with my help, we're going to do this even better than Tim did. We're going to do it as a team. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you. And I believe that we will be free! Yeah!
look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game! That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! The walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. Hey, come on, would you stop yammering at me? They're talking about the rules or something, and I'm trying to listen. Yeah, I should have guessed you're one of those people who listens to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Mavia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. <gasps> Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Ugh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What? Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. <laughs> Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do, actually. Rhetorical question. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Gravel? That's worse than dirt. Nope, just dirt. Come on. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Mm. Hang 
on now. We yeah. got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Okay. Do whatever it is you think you have to do. Whatever you say. Jessie isn't even trying to defend herself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Thought I'd try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer. Thank you. You made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Ah, uh, well, that's... Could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, see, usually all the little teams kill each other. Yeah, and, and then we kill whoever's left. If I were you guys, I would put down your weapons. Yeah, but then we'd have nothing to defend ourselves if you attacked us. <gasps> kind of the point. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! What they should be doing is a le- Hey, Adrian! Shut your cake hole! Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh... I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? You should be on our side. Join us! I don't know. Facemate finds that idea... weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab. I'm so proud. Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this. Together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! <laughs> which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not! They all win! Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me! We're ending this! So help me, none of you! this place until you eliminate each other! Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily! Just give it up already, Hadrian. I beat you at your own dumb game. Really? Really? You think you beat me? Oh, that just shows how little you understand the circumstances of your situation! This isn't up to you! We control the games! We decide their outcome! Mevia. Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! Come on, Mevia. Just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We... we still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jessie won these games fair and square. She's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay- What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really, but I think it's about-
about time we end this. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now. Because, uh, I will trap you here forever. You heard Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're going to talk to Otto about that later. But trust me, the Atlas will never be yours. Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought, M, come back. Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. To take what is mine. Ow! Ah! I'll admit your quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Ah, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. <laughs> Admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no match for me. We'll see about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian. Wait, wait. You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? Let me catch you. Forgive me? Uh, uh, oh. This game is no! over! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I... I lost? It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so! It's us! Yeah! I am so happy to see you guys! I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, cause I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. As someone once told me, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take them down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, overalls. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, ah, nice choice. Bad. Sweet. Payback ah, time! Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian, Mevia, this game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing you. Ha! <laughs> Huge. 
have you. Come on. What kind of rookie move was that? Ta-ta for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone... You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us! Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Come on! Never could have won on your own! Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Hadrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Spleef! Got it! Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! What? Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I've come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. Ah! No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. What kind of people would want to stay? Seems kind of weird. Uh, well, uh, they are pretty fun games, you know. Admittedly, they got a little, uh, well, out of hand before. But I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse, That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems 
lonely. Come on. Let's go find the others. You're amazing! So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Um, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. There it is! Home! I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah! She's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come! Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, oh, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous. Yes! That's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The crown of the Eversource, the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. The Mask of Cassie Rose. A.K.A. The White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense though, you were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the Portal Atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the Portal Network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Come on, guys. We have to catch up with him. 